Hey guys, I'm going to the supermarket and I want to take you with me. So if you're curious how much grocery costs in Montenegro, how cheap is Montenegro cheap? And what kind of quality and what kind of products can you get in a typical uh, supermarket in Montenegro? Keep on watching the video. And if you're generally interested in expat content, uh, like moving to another country, the budget that you need, cost of living and so on, feel free to follow me and hit the notification bell. Right now I'm relocated due to the war in Ukraine. Before this I was living in Ukraine. And since I feel like I'll be roaming around for quite a while, your support means everything to me. But right now let's just go to the supermarket and see it. So this is the closest supermarket to us. It's a pretty big one. And I would say that in Budva and the whole city there are maybe five bigger supermarkets they are really spacious they have a lot of stuff and i think it's a really comfortable shopping experience but remember that on sunday supermarkets are closed so do all your shopping either on you know friday or on saturday now i figured that in montenegro the selection of fruits and vegetables is not as big as in other countries but um, they still have a pretty decent one so um let me go really quick for the prices oranges uh, 99 cents for kg lemons actually we need one this looks okay is 149 strawberries they're always expensive this ones are 279 per kg and then the apples they start with around 89 uh, cents per kg you have granny smith you get like the red prince then golden so, oh zlatny this is one over one euro and here we have like more exotic fruits. So pears go for four or five euros. Then uh, the peaches are like four to five euros per kg. This um, uh, plums are two to three euros. It's one of the biggest problems here because they have this sort of avocados and they are not as delicious as the house ones. So we usually don't buy them, but they are 489 euros so that's uh, pretty expensive well they are expensive everywhere and my favorite bananas this is 139 you can see the vegetables that are here and let's make a round around the table potatoes these are new local potatoes um, 79 cents tomatoes look pretty good 159 and cucumbers these are not really delicious but i've never seen alternatives here so these are the only ones that we could buy for 69 cents some young scallions for you for 149 then this salad is 119 per kg so all the salads are around like 149 129 209 uh what else uh Ginger, ginger, I don't see the price. Oh yeah, ginger is 319. Um, the bigger onions are 59 to 89 cents per kg. And then the carrots, uh, if I'm not mistaken, carrot is 69 cents and then the beetroot is 89 cents. Okay, some paprika. These are the bell peppers for 179, 149 cents. Uh, the cherry tomatoes are um, like around three, four euros. And broccoli, which I really like, is 339 uh, euros per kg. Uh, what else? Um, radish is around two euros. For milk, we are getting usually this package for 109, but you can see there is a range of milks for different prices. For example, this one, I think is only 079 in this package. So that must be the, the cheapest. Also, if you're talking milk stuff, um, they have this really nice yogurt for 149 for, I think that's a liter and a half. Yeah, 1.5 kg, 149 yogurt that you can drink at home one liter really delicious if you're going into the realm of more fancy food then i like this drinking smoothie based on milk uh, for 149 but there is also a much cheaper alternative if you don't need all those like fancy green powders um, this smoothie for 0.89 89 cents 
the cheapest should be this one 180 for 10 eggs Ooh, little crack Let's check on some of the items that you necessarily have to buy when moving to another country. You know, shower gel, you know, washing powder, toothpaste, and so on. Let's go. Okay, and I'll be trying to look for the cheapest price. Obviously, you can always find something more expensive. So this is shower gel. Bigger package. Okay, so like this one's Dove 269, 2 euro 69, and this is 700 mil, which I think is a pretty good price. So that's um, that's shower gel. Obviously, like more choices, but everything is kind of around. Oh, look! I even found something cheaper. So this is 750 ml, and um, you know it's um some sort of local uh, shower gel. Oh, it's made in Italy, so not local. Yeah. So everybody needs some. One 1,000 milliliters for 199. Uh, there are also smaller ones for 0 0 0.89, like this ones. And if you are a fan of bar of soaps, what's the cheapest? Yeah, I think it's this Palmolive, small one, for 0 0.39, 39 euro cents. Opa! Let's see what's the cheapest uh, toothpaste. I think it's this one, Colgate. Everybody knows the brand, pretty famous, triple action. You know, looks pretty heavy, that's 89 euro cents. And if you're missing a toothbrush, the cheapest is 0.69, and looks like this. Also Colgate, I mean, it looks pretty sturdy and good to me. For shampoo, I'm gonna give you two variants. This is the cheapest one, uh, Palmolive. I didn't even know that they make shampoo, and that's 149. I do, however, prefer Head and Shoulders because that's the famous shampoo anti-dandruff, and I do have some issues with that, especially when traveling. This comes at a price of 369, so more expensive, but I think it's definitely worth the money. Now, let's make sure your Airbnb is nice and clean. Washing some dishes with Fairy. This is. 800 ml i think that's good for two months worth of dishwashing for 139 and if you have a dishwasher which is a really gift from god the cheapest option here is obviously the biggest package like this one so 120 tablets if you do a dishwashing per day that's uh three months and that only costs you 14.79 euros so almost 15 euros they also have like smaller ones for 20 washes obviously those will be more expensive like for 4.49 that's um, the one that we have now when it comes to washing clothes i prefer capsules 45 capsules so I would say like I use two capsules in a wash, so 20 something washes are $15.99. But if you don't want to buy such a big package, I think there's a good deal for Ariel pods, 12 washes for $2.99, so three euros, that's pretty good. We haven't been cooking really in the last couple of weeks. So I haven't bought meat from here, but you can have a look at the meats and just, you know, uh, see what uh, what you like and how much it costs. Uh, there are pieces of beef, uh, pork, there's minced meat, uh, there are different cuts of meat. Um, so Montenegrins eat and they love their meat so much, so I think the meat here is really good. But usually uh, find it and uh, buy it ready-made in restaurants oh and by the way they like all sorts of marinated meats like shashliks that you can like see here this looks like marinated uh, sausage so that would definitely taste good on a grill we don't really buy uh, those prepackaged meats and um, you know salamis but uh, here's a shot for you guys uh, whoever likes the stuff you can see what the prices are so from 129 to you know <laughs> to 10 and beyond depending on what sort of meat you like whether you like it pre-sliced or the bigger chunks that we see here 
Personally, not a fan. I like them thinly sliced Italian style, and I generally find that the quality of meat in Italy is uh, much, much higher. The meat is just more gentle. Let's have a look at the juices. I like how this one looks. Oh, orange one. That's great. So orange one, one and a half liter for 85 cents. That's actually pretty good. And they have a wide selection of juices from apples and cherries and pomegranate and whatnot. Um, as we are going, I think these are already more expensive. You know, you can see the prices is up to you what you what you buy. Our benchmark is going to be this bottle of Coke, two liters, that goes for 195, so almost two euros. And if you look at this Fanta, one and a half liters, that's 145. Does somebody still drink Fanta? I'm just curious. Finally, carbonated water. Montenegro has uh, really good water from the tap, you can drink it but we like something a bit more fancy once in a while. So we buy this one, really good quality, sparkle, just the right amount. Some of the cheapest um, choices for beer will be the local beer. It's called Nichishko or something like that. 69 cents for a half liter can. So what I'm seeing right now is like six, seven euros to almost 14 euros. What about this one? I see that people have taken it. Okay, so it's from Chernogorje, uh, Montenegro, only 2 euros and 59 cents. Mind you, there are very expensive wines too, like this one, Ranak in Barik, which means it has been aged 24.99. That's an expensive wine. The bread in Montenegro is simply delicious. A loaf of bread goes from anywhere around 50 to 60 cents to up to one euro. And you can see the prices here for some smaller buns. And then you see like the bigger loaves of bread. So something around one euro, 10 or 90 or uh, 80 cents is something that we get. And that's good for us for a couple of days. One type of bread that was a novelty for me is cornbread. So they serve it here pretty regularly and I do love the taste and it's something unique to Montenegro. I never had it before. Now let's have a look at the dry carbs. Um, our favorite is pasta and I think one of the best brands that you can get off the shelf is Barilla from um, Italy. A package like this, 500 grams, is 99 cents but they do have some cheaper versions although all of them I can see here that are imported from Italy. So like, then I see something for 49 cents, although this is not half kg, that's only 350 grams. Onwards to rice, let's see. So they have this packages, which is almost one kg, around one euro and 10 cents. This is around five kg, I think. Oh, the package is five euros 29, so I think that's pretty good. Oat flakes for those who like them, 500 grams for one uh, euro and 19 cents. But if you want to amp it up and I guess like do some muesli, so mueslis are 4.39 for a big package like this. some oil because everybody needs some oil for frying the cheapest one is 199 sunflower oil we like drinking tea so much and I feel like Montenegro has the widest selection of plant tea that I have ever seen in the supermarket so the cheaper ones are on the bottom shelf like this uh, mint tea 20 packages for only 45 cents uh, it's not very good, so we switch to this one for 179, which is very nice. It feels like you're drinking peppermint from your grandmother's garden. Now, the supermarket coffee has not really been a pleasure for us uh, in Montenegro, uh, but we did try this ooh, coffee here. Uh, is it 5.99? The Espresso Classico, which was. Okay-ish. It's better to buy coffee from uh, coffee roasteries uh, that can also grind the beans. 
but if you don't have access this one is pretty good in terms of the cheaper ones we also got i think this one aroma or golden so this is 220 and it was kind of okay one of the things by which you can measure how expensive a country is, I think, are those products that you can find everywhere. And I feel like Pringles is a good example of that. So one standard package of Pringles is one euro 89. Now here, I really need your expertise. What do you think? Is it cheap, expensive or normal? But uh, they do have like regular chips, which will be cheaper. This um, local chips, the no name patatas, never heard about them, are 0 0.89 for 110 grams. And then Doritos is 1.29, uh, well, just 100 grams. My faves are the sesame sticks for 0 0.79. I think they are Turkish. And also I like this local snack of Gricko flips. They look like this and they only cost 0.79. I would even say that they are more delicious than chips. One pack of sunflower seeds, salted, really delicious for 1 euro 09. They're going here. Seven day super max croissants. Some of my favorites when I was a kid because um, I couldn't get my hands on them. It's for 0.89, 89 euro cents. And there are smaller ones, also cheaper. Like the cheapest is uh, 59 cents. A Snickers Super Pack, they have three pieces here, is one euro zero nine. And I also like M&Ms. So this uh, bigger package here is one euro and 19 cents. Russian chocolate, 59 cents. This is, by the way, chocolate from Ukraine. So I encourage you to buy it. Uh, maybe I'll get the one with 80% chocolate, the bitter one. And then Milka, everybody's favorite milk chocolate. It's 79 euro cents for a bar of chocolate like this. Nutella, 700 grams for 4.99. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going home to unpack this amazing grocery that I bought today. And let me know how are the prices compared to your home country. Is Montenegro cheaper, the same prices, or more expensive than your home country? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.